hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light as always god is for us who can be against us right we're blessed we're highly favored god is for us who can be against us i haven't done one of these readings in a very long time so i say why not i have these cards let's go so the first card that came out it says your past lives you have known this person before it's a soulmate from a past lifetime again some of, i don't know a lot about you know but again it but it does seem to have some relevance because again when god said told jeremiah i i knew you before you were in your mother's womb so it's again it's like Sometimes, like I just again, my, my I'm I'm thinking, you know, it's it's like if he knew me before I was in my mother's womb, so that means we have a conversation, we had a relationship, right? So again, and and this is why I say to sometimes when people come, you know, when they're born and they die, and we may say, well they died too young but again it's like look at their life look how they live their life with purpose on purpose and it's like they came and they did what they were supposed to do and then they they gone back home so it's like is that's their contract so it's fulfilled so you know again there may be some relevance to it but again i'm leaving everybody up to their own uh judgment with that so yeah so whatever it is it could be past life like it says related a soulmate from a past lifetime all right spirit what else you have for us deepening a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months you may have been waiting for this love your shadow accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are so if we don't work with and accept our own flaws then we'll become more critical or we are more critical of other people and their flaws as well so it's kind of like when you're able to embrace your flaws and to see that you're not perfect you're not perfect so therefore you will not be so critical of other people you won't be so nitpicky oh look at look at your eye look at your nose look at your lips when you know within yourself and you know you are not perfect as well so this is called love your shadow accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are because again you have flaws so you're gonna want others to accept you for who you are this is the way you were born and you know it is what it is for some things or it just happened in life so when you accept those then you can accept others openly as well knowing that we're all imperfectly perfect we are imperfectly perfect perfect leave your fears behind they're stopping this relationship from blossom so for a lot of you some of you you know whomever this relate to but again leave your fears behind so we know fear is false evidence appearing as real so this is allowing your ego to talk you out of going out meeting people and all these things they're stopping this relationship from blossoming so whatever it is you know and again if this is love it's stopping the relationship from blossoming because then sometimes it's like yes you have been hurt in the past and so you're timid because you don't want to be hurt again again it can happen in different areas of our lives we've been hurt and so you may be afraid to trust other people with your heart you know with your money with your time with your body whatever it is so you know however it relates to you 
It says here, heart with a key. Heart with a key. Welcome in love. Meet in the one. Open your heart. Get in together. Perfect. So again, this is with this past life connection. Welcoming, inviting, meeting somebody new. Opening your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So like I said before, and I didn't even see that card, but you know, is realizing that we're all imperfectly perfect. So it's like having two imperfectly people together, you know, it makes it perfect, right? So, yeah, so that has to do with the past life. And I broke the deck in a half while I was, look, you know, just talking. And it says here, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So whatever... Maybe some of you, you have already done the healing work with those toxic people in the past and you release that, you let it go. For a lot of you with the sword and the rose, you know, it's like double edge. You now have clarity, you have truth, revelation, solidarity, force, protection and power. So now you know the truth as to who is real, who is fake in your life. So now you know what karmic looks like, you know, and now you know what true love looks like. So now you know the difference because it's like, yeah, rose smell good, but it, it you know, it's, some people will say it smell like boo-boo too, right? So yeah, now you know the difference. You have revelation as to not if all that glitters is not gold. You know, like I said, not everybody is good or who looks good is good for you. So it's learning, just having a lot of truth and clarity and with the boat here, you know, just moving on, you know, closing out issues and having faith that love will come, love will find you. You know, as you do these healing and heal these shadow work here for yourself, you know, then you will have that, that partnership, that date will come in if that is what you're looking for, whatever it is. So, yeah, this part looks like, you know, somebody could be sad, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, you know. But again, that was a karmic relationship. So a lot of you with this love, your shadow, you're doing that healing work or you've done that where you heal from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions, yeah. So it's like that broken heart, you sat down and you gave yourself time to heal, to forgive, to release, you know, all of this. And so that way, you know, again, you learn, you know, hand of cards is like, for a lot of you, you were dealt, you know, like a bad hand when it comes to love. For a lot of you, a lot of us, and this is why it's like, you know, it may take time, you know, and but it's calling here. It says take a chance, a risk, being strategic, not showing hand gambling. So, yeah, you've had persons who were not showing their hand. It's like they probably were living a double life. People were not serious. And so, yeah, you know. You've had to do your own healing there. Let's, yeah. Again, you know, karmic wanting to show up all the time. So persons are maybe looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgic, you know, wanting to make new memories with you. But nope, for a lot of you, you're moving on to this abundance, keeping a positive mindset. You're a lot of you. You're manifesting exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. It's like you heal, you sat there, you cried by yourself when you needed these people. This is how, again, you know who is karmic, those people who were just in your life to teach you a lesson. When you needed them the most, they were not there for you. As a matter of fact, that's where your broken heart came from, right? So you had to pick up the pieces together and it's like now... Once you move on and you heal yourself and we're constantly healing, but you forgive and you release, all this abundance will now flow into your life. Because again, when you have 
toxic people around you, they're blocking your blessings. And there is no way God is going to release all of these resources into your life knowing that you have an imposter. You have somebody who, you know, it's like they're risky with that card deck we saw there, you know. It's like they're a joker. So no, so a lot of you is like, okay, once you heal your heart and you realize, okay, let me just go into my bag. Let me build my business, work on whatever I need to do, you know, to create some abundance. For some of you, you're manifesting exactly what you want. It's like, now that you have seen the dark side, now it's like, okay, God, I'm ready for the light. You know, I only want what you have for me. And so you're very gracious. You're thankful. You appreciate the journey, you know, for all the things that you've gone through, you know, and it's like the lessons you learn. And a lot of you, you may be single, but it's like, you're happy, you're because it's like you're not in any rush. You're not looking back to the past. Like you see, I've been skipping over those. You know, I mention it, but we're not dwelling on that. Because they had their time. They fumbled the bag. And now they're realizing that they miss out on a good one. Not only a good one, but a God one. And so they're, you know, looking at your photos, reminiscing. But no. So a lot of you, you're not interested in those things. You're making healthy choices in love and in life you're loving yourself self-care and you're you're happy you know without the drama so a lot of you you are drama free at this time so i'm loving that yeah loving that so far yeah so it's it's not like this card is not like keys on a ring it's heart with a key so that means it's the perfect match only one key is like that Cinderella shoe. You know, it, it's not one size fit all. It's for one person. So this key can only unlock one door. Okay, so it's the right fit. It's, it's just made. It's made for you. You know, made in heaven. You know, God made this person for you specifically. Yeah. So for a lot of you, you know, you could have been dealing with a lot of karmics here with maternal attachments, you know, people who had too much focus on visible trappings. <clears throat> that sound karmic to me, you know, where they were very materialistic, all about the stuff, the things, you know, because it's like she's showing him like look at this and he's like looking at the price like uh-huh <laughs> you know yeah so yeah so a lot of you you had to do a lot of forgiveness you know whether of yourself or for yourself or for others allowing healing waters to wash away the pain of your past yeah so you probably have dealt with people who are very materialistic in your past Mm, again forgiveness came out so yeah so for a lot of you like i said you dealt with people who had you as an option so you had to forgive to allow healing waters to wash away the pain of your past yeah mm -hmm. this is not that past this is past life so it's like you know in another lifetime but this is like dealing with those car mix of a few weeks, months. For some of you, it could have just been yesterday or many years ago. Again, forgiveness. And this card came back out behind it. Maternal, material attachments. Did I say maternal before? I'm sorry, but it's material attachments. Yeah, so you could have dealt with a lot of people who were in the glitz and the glamour and the flashiness and like i said before not all that glitters is gold not everybody look who looks good mean that they're good for you you know and no wonder the card here love your shadow talks about your flaws you know healing those insecurities in yourself so that you will be able to forgive others too so you had to forgive 
you know, yourself for a lot of um, mistakes that you made with the partners that you've had, you know, and it's like now with the freedom card here, now you're free. Mm -hmm. So you had to do a lot of work on yourself. Now you learn to embrace your light side and your shadow side. That's who you are. It's a part of you. You're not living there, but you know, you're not afraid of your, your shadow side either. Okay, it's like a lot of jumpers. Mmm, teas and soulmates. So yeah, so it says the energy is fun and lighthearted but uncertain and it says soulmate you have found your romantic counterpart so maybe in the past you've dealt with a lot of people who were you know they just tease you the energy was fun and light-hearted but it was uncertain like i said you know we saw the deck of card there it's like with these people it was very uncertain with them you didn't know what you know what you were gonna get. You were telling them, showing them who you were, but they were holding back on you. You know, being strategic. They were playing chess. You were playing, you know, checkers. It's like you were showing them your authentic, your real side, but they were they just took it for your heart for fun, and this is why they ripped it up and and throw it away so a lot of you you were teased probably by people in your past who you thought were your soulmates but they were just there to really teach you a lesson to love yourself we saw that card a lot of you you're pouring on yourself with abundance self-love self-worth all of that so for a lot of you your dreams are coming true have faith your rainbow will come smiling through so yeah so you know it's like after the the rain comes the rainbow you know so again you have to heal and it doesn't matter what aspect in life we go through even if it's just platonic having a, a best friend you know a, a guy friend a bro it's the same thing if people break your trust deceive you you have to heal yourself before you can start over again, right? And it takes time to trust people. But when you are intentional and you put the work in and God sees that, yeah, then, you know, he'll bring the right people or person to come your way, right? Because you're also vibrating on that same level too. Wow. Twin flame recognition with spirit soul path. It says, you know this soul that mirrors your own so yeah so that's like that past life and then it says a personal evolution within your your relationship so yeah it's like connecting on that soul that spirit soul path is like god making that connection there and it says love language acts of service so maybe for some of you your your love language so there are five different love languages and again, at any time, you can, people's love language change, you know, it can evolve over the years. But here it says, love language, acts of service, actions speak louder than words. So for a lot of you, you will only marry someone who not, not just talk about it, but they be about it. Because in the past, you've dealt with a lot of people who were just teasers they talk a big game but at the end of the day they were not serious so you know yes you want to see people show you you know you're from the show me state don't show me don't tell me show me show me because love it's an action word right it's a verb so yeah let, let's get the show on the road right yeah, so for a lot of you, whatever it is that you're manifesting or working on, you're called to set your intentions with heart and soul. I love that. For a lot of you, it says here, today holds unlimited possi possibilities to see the beauty in life. And again, seeing the beauty not only in life, but also in yourself. This is what happens when 
you are healed. It's like you come to realize, you know, you did what you were supposed to because if you're in a relationship, you were being honest, you know, you were pretty much vulnerable and then you have, but it's only that you trusted it with the wrong person. But then for a lot of you, a lot of us, you don't know, right? Because you think and you take people's word for it. And then until they mess with your heart and, you know, when you heal all of that, then you come to realize, oh, you were dealing with a player, a player. So here, nourish your body with high vibing energy. So like we saw the, the, the card, some of you, you're taking care of yourself. You're making healthier choices in love and in life. So you're taking care of yourself, drinking, trying to drink healthy, be better, you know, so you're not only abundant in, 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 in in say working or having money but also in your health that's your wealth too right so some of you may be getting out into nature as well mm -hmm. yeah that's good i love it i haven't done one of these in a long time awaken to your authentic self and be true to you yeah be true to you with this forgiveness you know, it's, it, it hurts like itchy, double autistic, you know, but you forgive. And again, for a lot of you, you know, again, embracing yourself, looking in the mirror and loving what you see, loving the person who you see there, being your best friend again. Wow. And here it says right behind it, forgive someone, forgive someone. And remember, forgiveness is for you. So again, forgive with forgive. Yeah, it's like, you know, forgive so you can live. Forgive so you can live. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's new. Yeah, forgive so you can live. Allow unlimited abundance. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you know, unlimited abundance. So it's like step out of the way and allow God to rain on your life with all these unlimited abundance and again this is what you get when you do the work and yes the haters are going to hate because they don't understand it and they don't want to understand it and even if you try to explain it they are bored it's like they, they can't their mind can't wrap around it because it's too much for them they just want the shortcut you know but again it's it's healing yourself Del delving into the past, working on those parental issues that you've had, you know, working through your past traumas with past friends, lovers, and all of this. It's not easy to like delve back into the garbage bin of your life and take out, you know, it's like looking for a receipt, you know, picking out each paper pile by pile one at a time. And as you look at them, you're triggered for what people have done and these different things. You have to come face to face. And it's like, you know, when you find something and and you sit down right there and you read that and you go through it and all the pain and the emotions. For some of you, it, it depends how long you take to go through that. For everybody, it's different. But what's important is that you were able strong enough your stomach was strong enough to deal with it and to to feel it because in order to heal it you must be willing to feel it you have to feel it the pain the the hurt all of it that comes with it is like holding that fireball and and it's burning you and then you know, it's like to me, as long when you're holding it, it's like it's as long as you're taking to deal with that issue. And then once you forgive, you release, then you let it go. So it's like being able to hold that hot iron in your hand. That's the pain of what that betrayal, that hurt did to you. And then it's like, okay, okay, you understand why it happened your part that you played in it and it's like yes you can release it and it's like as you release that then you pick up another receipt or another letter and when you read it oh that that person from way back then what they did to you 
and then again it's like holding a new iron hot iron in your hand for some it's hotter than others it's more painful than others but again it's 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 owning it it's feeling it and then healing it and then when you go through all of that who you know it's like going in the in that hermit by yourself handling all of that then you come out healed and transform that's your shadow side that's your dark side the things that from your childhood all the hurt and the pain it's your shadow side if you don't deal with it it's like that monster that's under your bed that monster in your closet it scares you but see once you come face to face with all of your hurts and your pain and your trauma is like you know it is like with your sibling or anybody you're playing peekaboo when they jump out and say boo you're like whatever that's that's a, that's how you handle your shadow side it's like now when that monster under the bed try to scare you like shut up you know it's, it's like i'm not afraid of you you know because you conquer that so it's like you know where your shadow side is so when i say you know how to you embrace your shadow side and your your light side your heel side and that pain of your past you know where it is but you choose to live in the light so all of us is kind of like don't get it twisted it doesn't matter how kind you see people look don't take it for granted that oh not everybody gonna just sit there and let you punch at them all the time or you know keep going they have feelings too so it's not that they don't know how to do karate or how to kick butts but they prefer to walk in peace because the bible tells you you know try as much as you can to be at peace with all men but some people, they really get it twisted. They underestimate. They judge the book by the cover. And then, you know, when they get an uppercut or, you know, something, then that's when they're like, ooh, okay. You know, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's handling your dark side. It's knowing the fears you have, the, your pain, your trauma, and you heal those. And now you're able to walk in the light but you embrace yours so you know when you meet other people they're gonna have theirs so it's just a matter of with you manifesting the life you deserve you desire you will encounter people who are working on themselves people who have already worked on themselves you're done with all that thing in the past with those karmic those kind of energies it's like no no that's not your cup of tea anymore you don't drink that yeah so yeah create your own happiness you know so for a lot of you you're having a positive mindset again manifesting the life you desire you deserve and you know exactly what you want you're grateful to god for a lot of you you escape with your life you know and yes god did it and you're grateful you have to some of you you may have to start over you know but you are creating or you have created your own happiness. And again, your happiness, I, I had a post the other day, your happiness is your responsibility. I mean, what? yes, it's good if you have somebody who can make you laugh, but you're not marrying a clown, you know what I mean? So therefore, you have to be happy on the inside. You need to make yourself laugh. You need to learn how to be a company to yourself create your own your own peace because even if you have a partner they're gonna need their space at some point you know you know again a part of this journey is learning not to be codependent like you were in the past that karmic connection you know this is why that heart was probably so damaged because they wanted to go and you were holding on to her skirt tail or that pants leg, whatever. And they kept walking and they were, you know, it's like dragging you while you wouldn't let go. And the more you don't want to let go, it's the more the heart is breaking. So a part of this healing journey is learning not to be clingy, not to be toxic, 
not to be so, you know, being independent, you know, working, be able to pay your bills, take care of yourself, be independent. Like the poem says, be independent if you can and cultivate a sound backbone so that, you know, because again, it's up to God, you know, as to what the outcome of your life will be. So therefore, you don't want to just be there sitting down waiting for Mr. or Miss Wright. Be productive. Again, keep running as fast as you can to God. And if when that person shows up, then you say hello. But I love this. I love this message for you. I love it for us. Um, just get creative and excite your imagination with wonder. You know, just live your best life. Live your blessed life. And I love it. Love it for you. Love it for us. Until next time, take care and be blessed.